20-year breeder Kelly Jensen has finally led a homebred to the World Championship at the 2018 Adequan Select World Championship Show. I'm Larry Joe Starkey with the American Quarter Horse Journal, your first stop for AQHA industry news, and I'm here with Kelly to ask about Isa Looker, and you say the E is from E Credible. He is. He's out of E Credible. Um, as st our stallion that we bred and raised, and um, he's also out of a mare that we have called Don't Stare, and um, he's he's just been amazing so far. He was really special when he was born and um, continues to just keep getting better and better. You said you were there when he was fold out. I was. I was. And um, it's kind of a cool thing to be there when they're when they're born because then you get to watch everything that happens over the years and and you just get to think I was there <laughs> when that happened and um, it just kind of gives you a, a connection to the animals you know that we're taking care of and that we're trying to promote other than just taking the lead shank and showing so it's it's really rewarding to be able to do this you know what were you thinking when you let him in through the Gateway of Champions? Well, I was thinking that I was trying to keep calm so that he would stay calm. <laughs> and um, he was really good. He came right through the gate just like a champion. Um, he was quiet. And he. I was worried about tracking. I was worried that I might trip in that deep dirt. And he was awesome. He stayed right with me. He didn't go too fast. He stayed with me. We made it around the cone and from that point on it was just a matter of getting set up. It was a little rushed with only three of us in the class so I felt like I never really got to stand still for a second. I was, you know, as soon as I was done tracking it was time to move into the lineup so it was, he was good for me. He was awesome. He stood up really well. We had a few issues. Um, he wanted to move around a little bit, but once he settled in, he just showed like a champion. What was it like when they called your name world champion? Um, sorry. <laughs> um, and then I'm usually always um, kind of behind the scenes. Um, my daughter Cassidy shows pretty heavily on the circuit, and um, so I'm usually kind of there to be support staff for everyone else, and so it's kind of fun for me to be the one, you know, that I went out there, we got the job done, and um, it's pretty cool to be <laughs> to be up there on top. I just can't explain it. It's it's just incredible, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was that was pretty good for off the cuff. How many how many e names have you named horses? Oh, I can't even remember. I don't, I don't even remember. Every time we have to do names, it's, there's at least 15 that I've got to come up with. And um, I'm not even sure I named this one. I think somebody else came up with his name and I thought it was fabulous. I'm like, that's great, you know? So yeah, I'm good with it. He's, he is a looker. <laughs> so. Well, you talked about um, other people helping. Who did you want to thank today? Well, I want to thank, first of all, um, Ted Turner for preparing the horse and making him so that he was showable for me. Um, and I also want to thank my husband, Steve Jensen. Um, without him, none of this would be possible. And even though my name is listed as the breeder, he's really the mastermind behind the whole program. And so I, we all chuckle when they say it's bred by Kelly Jensen, even though I'm part of the the whole scenario, he's really the mastermind, so we kind of giggle about that behind the scenes, but it's been a really great experience. From a four-generation breeding program, Kelly Jensen has a world champion. It still sounds good, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks so much.